Hello Internet! Welcome to a new tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show how to export 3D models and animations from 3ds Max and import them into Source Filmmaker. For following this tutorial, you need to have already installed the Source Filmmaker and 3ds Max. So I'm going to start here by downloading a plugin called Wallworm, which is a plugin that we're going to be using for this tutorial. Once you have downloaded the free version of this plugin, you just have to execute the installer and click in install. And after the installation, let's open 3ds Max to configure our plugin. Now I'm going to read and accept the user agreement. And here the plugin requires that we create a game info file following the specifications from Source Filmmaker. And for doing this, I'm going here to the Valve website, which are the creators of Source Filmmaker. And I'm going to copy a template directly from their website. And after that, I'm going here to my 3ds Max project folder, and I'm creating a new text file. And I'm going to paste the template contents into this new text file. Now we're going to start configuring the plugin by setting all the paths pointed to the Source Filmmaker. This Game and Asset section here can be mapped to any folder. The default directory should be inside the installation folder of Source Filmmaker. But since any folder is allowed, I will select a separated folder just for this tutorial. And after that, we have to set all the directories that point to the Source Filmmaker installation. So I'm going to click here in each one of the Source Filmmaker file names, and I'm going to browse to their location inside the Source Filmmaker installation folder, and I'm going to select the files that match to the names listed in the plugin. We have to do this so the plugin can communicate with Source Filmmaker correctly. And after the path configuration is complete, all the directories should be listed like this. And here in the Models tab, the Compile Models on Export option must be enabled. And the SMD Exporter plugin must be selected. Still here in 3ds Max, we're going to go here in File Import to import a 3D model. You could also open your 3ds Max project, it doesn't matter. The most important options that I have enabled here are Smoothing Groups, Animation and Bake Animation Layers. If the file you are importing has multiple animations, you can select which animation you want to import through this option. And these are the other options I usually use for importing. So this is the animation and the 3D model that I'm importing here as an example for this tutorial. This is the Drogo's character from the game Paladins. As you can see, I've imported the intro animation from Drogo's. And this animation comes with its own rigging which is a skeleton pre-attached to the 3D model. If you don't know how I extracted this model from the game Paladins, you can click in the card that is showing up here at the top corner of the video that has a link to the tutorial where I show how to do this. And once I have imported my 3D model into 3ds Max, I'm going to click here in the Material Editor. And now I'm going to click in Pick Material from Object. And I'm going to click on the 3D model. And here we can see that our model consists of a material that has multiple textures. Here I'm going to make sure that the textures are not in PNG or BMP format, because otherwise you're going to have this kind of problem that I'm showing here whenever you try to import your models into Source Filmmaker. Some textures will not show up or they will look white like this whenever you try to import your model into Source Filmmaker. So what I did to solve this problem was to convert all my textures into TGA format, which is a format that is easily accepted by Source Filmmaker. And for doing this conversion, you can use any software of your preference. You can even use the paint from Windows if you want. And for replacing the textures, we have to go here and double click on the texture icon. And then we just have to select the TGA version of the texture to replace it and then click in the file name. And finally, we're gonna go here and click in our 3D model to select it once again. And after that, you just have to double click in the material and click in the assign material to selection button. And if your model has multiple separated parts, you're gonna have to do the same thing for every single part of the model. Now that our model is ready to be exported, let's open the model tools. Now I'm going to click here in Pick Model, and I'm going to click once in our 3D model. If it works, you're going to see this text behind the model. Now if your model has multiple parts, for each additional part, you're going to click here in the Append button, and then you click once on the additional part of the model. 
You have to repeat this for each additional part. In my case, I have only one. Now to start exporting, let's go here and click export VTFs to export the materials of the model. Oh, another important thing, before you do any export, your Steam app must be open and running, otherwise the export may fail. Once you have confirmed that all the textures of the model are showing up here and they are all selected, then you can click on export selected textures. This process may take a few minutes and some terminals will show up on the screen. And if you want to make them disappear, whenever you see the message hit a key to continue, you just click on the terminal window and you press any key. And if everything worked, this message saying materials exported will show up on the screen. Now let's close this window that we don't need anymore. And before going here and exporting the model, if you have animations to export, you have to select them first before exporting. And for doing this, we're going to go here and expand the sequences menu. And here on the top, I'm going to uncheck the use idle sequence option. And since here my animation starts at the frame 0 and ends on the frame 59, I'm gonna set here the start frame as 0 and the end as 59. And here you can write down a name for your animation sequence. And finally, I'm gonna go here and clicking Add Sequence to add this animation to the list of sequences to be exported. If you have multiple animations to be exported, you have to repeat this process for each one of them. And finally, let's click here in Export to export our animation. Now to export the 3D model associated to this animation, we have to go up here and click in the Export QC Plus Model button that I showed before. Again, this operation may take a few minutes and a terminal will show up on the screen. When the process is complete, you're gonna see the message Press any key to continue. And before doing any imports and before opening Source Filmmaker, I'm gonna double check if Steam is open and running. Sometimes, for some reason, my imports failed when Steam was closed. Okay, now let's open Source Filmmaker to import our 3D models and animations. But before importing anything, we have to go to the project folder where we exported all the models and animations. And we have to copy all the exported files to the Source Filmmaker folder. I'm showing here how to browse to the correct folder. If we don't do that, the files won't show up whenever we try to import them in Source Filmmaker. Now let's finally import the models, but first I'm going to create a default map here. You can use any map you want here, actually. Now that we have loaded our map, let's import our models and animations. So for importing, I'm going to click here in this plus button, and I'm going to click on Create Animation Set for New Model. After a few seconds loading, you're gonna see here in the project file, in my case I named it as my project. So my project will consist of the 3D model, the animations, and the textures loaded correctly. Having the model selected, you can just double click on it or clicking open. Now let's import an animation sequence to the scene by right clicking on the model and going here in Import Sequence. And now you just have to select the target animation for each part or sub-object of the model. And after that you just have to click in Open and here is our model with the animation. So that's it, I have just shown you how to export animations from 3ds Max and import them into Source Film Maker. If this tutorial was useful for you, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel to receive new tutorials and gameplays. This tutorial was actually a request from a follower here in the channel, so if you want to see any specific tutorial, leave a comment below. So that's it, I see you next time, bye bye!